Though it is not a requirement and not always possible, getting some practical experience in instrument meteorological conditions during IFR flight training is very valuable. But when should you do it? Here in New Hampshire and other cold climate areas, for much of the year it can be difficult to give IFR flight students practical experience in instrument meteorological conditions due to low freezing levels. And the fact that most flight train aircraft only provide pitot heat, a windscreen defroster, and a carburetor heat for de-icing and anti-icing functions. However, when the warmer weather does present itself, a CFII should try to give his or her IFR flight students at least a flight lesson or two in actual instrument meteorological conditions, or what is also referred to as IMC. But with that said, it's wise to only take a flight student into IMC conditions when they are well into the IFR training and have completed nearly all of the IFR flight training syllabus and have truly mastered scanning the flight instruments and can consistently and accurately hold their heading and altitude assignments. Leading up to taking a student on an actual IMC flight, I first put them on a full motion Redbird flight simulator flying in IMC conditions and shooting approaches at the airports we intend to fly to. In addition, I've previously had them fly both simulated IFR flight plans using ATC flight following and flying actual IFR flight plans on VFR days. This way they're solid communicating with ATC and following their instructions and flying the instrument approaches at the various airports we've practiced at. So if you're a CFII, I would suggest making every possible attempt, weather permitting, to give your IFR flight student at least one flight lesson in actual IMC. In my opinion, it's better they experience actual instrument meteorological conditions for the first time with a CFII on board, rather than by themselves with their newly minted instrument rating in an overabundance of naive confidence. Mm -hmm.